I think we did it. I think we're fine. I hope we're fine. I have no idea if we're fine. Hello. Hi, Alex. Hello. Oh, I got bonked. How's it going? How are we doing, friend? How is how is your day? I've had to switch up like what monitors different things are on, which is both a wonderful change, but also I feel like I've confused myself now. I don't know. Hello, but hello, it's Thursday. Well, I'm also gonna turn on the delightful music that is this game so far, so people can start to hear it. It's got a dope soundtrack, whatever I'm playing today, I won't lie. But hello, I am Parker. Welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. Can I take your order? I thought, nope, that's not it at all. <laughs> I've also been operating with the audio of if I showed up, to, if I turned out to your date looking like this, what would you do? And I'm like, cause I put on makeup. Cause I was like, yeah, Thirsty Thursday. It's like a date night. And then I put on my blanket cape, which I think explains everything. Anyways, how's it going? How are you, Alex? How's, how's, how are you feeling? Did you, have you recovered since having to get through the office? I'm gonna eventually move over to, there we go, this lovely display. Tired, oh geez, really? Oh no! Oh, that's awful in a bunch of respects. Okay, I'm I'm personally a little bit tired. It has been a long week. But otherwise I'm okay. Um admittedly I have like hot water and lemon because my throat has been It's not that I'm getting sick. It is hilariously the I talk too much. That is what we've hit and the problem is I, like half of my job is talking to people. And I wish it wasn't. Oh, no, that's a lie. I love that it is. But also, it is draining on the vocal cords, I think. <laughs> so we're trying to be better about it. Um, and otherwise, you know, yeah, seriously, I do. Um, otherwise, aside screaming and yelling at OBS today because it didn't want to play this game, it would recognize that this game existed, but it wouldn't play it, which was really annoying. So I figured out what I think is a workabout, workable workaround. Because everything looks like it's working. So, and I did an audio, I did like a recording of this before to make sure that like, okay, can I be heard? Can the game be heard? Can everything be seen? Yes, excellent, perfect. We'll survive. So, but yeah, so I've got hot water and honey with honey and lemon. And actually a dried orange with cloves, so a little bit of extra citrus and spice there. Yeah, okay, cool. You've had the same problem. And like I, were you also getting a black screen? Cause that was my shoe. And so I did a bunch of the other troubleshootings to like get through this and none of it was working. So I'm using a window capture right now. Actually I'm using display capture specifically, um, which is working out so far so good. But yeah, okay, cool. I feel you, I feel you. I also moved it to my other monitor because all of the, any notifications I get come to my main laptop. And so if I put, anyways, fun technical OBS stuff that nobody really cares about, which is fine. So we're going to play Arcade Spirits. I don't know what I'm getting into. I just know it's a dating sim. It happens now again. Depends on the, how the pro program handles hooking. Yeah, that makes sense. I was wondering if it was like, um, graphics card issue for a little bit but because certain games are still perfectly fine it seems like it's just yeah how the program handles hooking that makes sense so i actually really do not know much about this game i'm gonna be completely honest i just know it's a dating sim and i was told it was actually quite funny uh indie game we'll see and apparently dope soundtrack so we'll see we'll see how this goes we'll see how we do this i have no idea though Database system online. New profile detected. Analyzing. Analyzing. New profile 237771. Economic bracket. Lower middle. Employment category. Bleak. Wow. Rude. Current emotional health rating low. We are already pushing our voice. Ah, we're good. I also have water. I'm doing, I'm doing just fine. What do you mean my current emotional health rating is low? Ideal candidate for premium assistance level. 
Proceed. Negative! Premium level assistance re-requested. Proceed. Negative. What the? This game is rude so far. Pretty please. Overriding denial of assistance. Establishing premium services for profile 23771. Justification? Hope. Hope should be rewarded. Spirit must be restored. Now compiling personal personal metadata. Yay! Character creator! There goes the next hour of my game because I never know what to do with. Can I name? Well, we're going to go the huge. Surprising absolutely nobody. Yeah, this game is so far very rude to me. I don't know, guys. Uh, pronouns. Let's go by they. I like they. They is cool. I need... Whoa, that's yellow. That's it. I don't... And just... Oh, God. Okay. Hairstyle. Definitely not long. Short's really cute, so I think we're gonna go with that. <gasps> I'm allowed my weird colors. Life is good. Life is grand. Done. Eye color. We're going with a light blue here. Okay, never mind. I take it back. This is like really simple. How, how dark can we go here? We go with reds. Ooh. Kind of cute, actually. I think I'm gonna do that. Never mind. This is the simplest and fastest uh, stream elements. I really gotta work on you. We're gonna work on you and your timing, and also I'm just gonna get rid of you entirely. But sh you don't know that yet. <sighs> That's a this weekend project. Oh my life. Let's turn up the light a little bit. This is like the fastest color, like fastest character creator I think I've done in a while. Like it's it's. Gives you tons of options, but well, maybe not that, so much. I don't have a ton when it comes to hairstyle or clothing color, but. Sure, done editing. Yes, that's correct. Premium level assistance for profile 237771 Parker Wallace has been activated. For the sake of their hopes and dreams. I'm mildly concerned. No joke, I am now mildly concerned. Following his work of fiction, all references to trademark classic arcade game titles are used under nominative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by their publishers or creators. Okay. You love a game that does this. Winners don't use drugs. I worked out to get mixed up, but only trigger timer when you're streaming. Ooh, love that, Alex. Love, love that a lot. I'm just gonna start dancing constantly. Put your quarter. It is the future year 20XX, a dark era in which mankind is pushed to the brink of catastrophe. Woe be to the human race plagued by evil, terrifying, ugly, utterly sinister. You don't say. Oh boy. Sorry, I am just double checking one other quicksy thing. Okie dokie, life is not so bad. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, hello, 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 hello. I'm starting to think I need to move my camera. If I do this, might need to move my camera to the other side. I don't know. I should be looking not from the corner, but that's okay. We're gonna work on this. Um, well, to be, woe be to the, hu the human race plagued by evil, terrifying, utterly sinister. Uh, I don't know. Robots? Maybe? Evil robots? How's that work? Yeah, no, sorry. The future 20XX is pretty much what you expect it to be. Non-flying cars, smartphones, pro gamer celebs. So this is 2022. Internet trolls, personal assistant AI, cheese flavored snack foods. Yeah, this is right now. But even with such wonders as 20XX holds to date, I've had no part in any of them. I worked as a dishwasher, shoe salesman, and a lifeguard for the local community pool. I don't care what era of human history you live in. Kitties peeing in the pool is pretty much a constant thing. Trust me on this. Oh, lordy. As for the bustling metropolis of 24-hour neon utopia you see here, my little corner of it isn't near 
really is shiny and cool. Let me show you. I also have neon. And by that, I mean I have a really cute neon starlight. Wow. My place is a mess. But look at this guy up here. Oh, you can't see him. My camera's in the way. Look at my... Oh, there's a little penguin dude. Can't complain, really. It's paradise in a relative sense. I only pay half the rent. Neighborhood stabbings have been down this year. What? Yeah, also, my roomie picks up any stray socks or shirts I leave lying around. That's useful. In fact, as things go... Hi, Katsy. Yeah, I feel I feel a little bit... Um, I'm offended, mildly. Oh, I love the penguin. Yeah, you can see tiny little penguin head up here. Tiny little dude. He's adorable. Well, welcome, Mark. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Arcade Spirits. I don't know what I'm getting into. I just know it's a dating sim. And it's Thursday, so it's it's dating sim day. Um, need penguin! I Yes, there's always a need for the penguin. Or at least I was before today. You got fired from another job? Rude. You know what, Juniper? I don't know you. Date the penguin. I will try to date the penguin, okay? Seriously? Seriously? That's three jobs since we left the suburbs. Marry the penguin. I mean, yes. Guys, I found, I think, my alter ego. I don't know. Like, my hair's obviously not that, but it's always different colored. and The purple feels really on brand. Purple feels, and also the number 13. Like, I... I feel like somebody stole some some notes from me, and I'm not sure how to feel about this. I mean, I like it so far. She seems adorable. I kind of like Juniper, minus the fact that she's, like, ragging on me a little bit. How are you guys doing today, though? How's it going, Katsy? How's it going, Mark? How how we feeling? How we how we do? How we do be? Do be, do be, do. The horrified-looking young woman there would be my roommate and childhood friend, Jen Juniper. Juniper is the one who spearheaded this effort to co-rent an apartment. She's also the only one who encourages me whenever I lose a job. Like, you know, today. I don't get why you aren't more upset about this. I'm upset. I'm upset on your behalf. Come on, share the load a little, okay? She's adorable. Okay, well, you are best room. They are some hair goals. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, no, Mark. You're in charge of a jewelry store that's not yours. Oh, dear. Um... Which means that, like, all of my usual suggestions don't work. Yeah, I would normally go heist time, but if he, if he, if he's in charge, he might be also then more responsible if a heist occurs. Pool's closed, Juniper. Not much I can do about that. Why get upset? Because you actually enjoyed that job more than you enjoyed wa dishwashing soap and smelly socks at the very least. I'm not the complaining sorts. These things just happen. Things fall apart. The center does not hold. That's a bit morbidly poetic, isn't it? No, I mean, okay, I will also point out if anybody has looked at the bottom here, she's got really cute what looks like thigh-high cat socks, and I love them, and I stan. Um, pretty much. Yeah, doing a high-start work would probably not bode well for you. I mean, the community center, right? They're so cute. So good. You just send a calling card first. Yes, pretty much. I mean, the community center literally fell apart and the pool won't hold water anymore. Whatever, I'll just get another job. Any job will do as long as we can make rent, right? Wrong! I saw how mopey and tired you were. I want her voice actress to come back. She was doing a great job. Coming home every night from those other crappy jobs... At least when you got back from the pool each day, I sometimes caught you smiling. What's the point of us moving away go. from home if not to get away from all of... all of that? I mean, we both left that town so we could try to find happiness, right? What town? Where am I from? Where did I come from? Who am I? I mean, I... I just want us to be happy. <laughs> Can't ask who am I. Both of us. I thought you hated your job. No deflecting, this is about you. Oh my god, girl. Yeah, no, I'm feeling I Katsy, I'm with you, hon. It's it's so it, it's yeah. Black Lady, Sailor Moon, like very much those vibes. 
I always think it's really cute. I just don't ever think my hair would agree with me if I tried to do that. Let's start from the top. What's your dream? I'm standing in front of a class to give a speech and I forgot to put my pants on it. No, wrong dream. Dream job. My God, I'm an idiot. Oh, I don't know, Juniper. I haven't really given any serious thought. Welcome to all the conversations I have with coworkers. Oh, hey, I think I've got just the thing to help you out. What are you doing? I'm so confused. It's a virtual life coach app. Oh God, help me. Mine keeps me from being late to meetings. Totally free too. My cousin introduced it to me. Wasn't he the guy who ended up in the ER after making a homemade flamethrower? <laughs> oh boy, okay. It would have worked if he got the fuel mixture in his water gun right. I'm... Uh, you haven't missed anything. This is called Arcade Spirits. All I know is it's a dating sim and it's Thirsty Thursdays, which means we play dating sims on Thursdays. I don't know why. We just do. Um, I have no idea. It, it involves arcade machines. That's all I know. And I've been told it's kind of cute and fun. So we're taking place in the year 20XX. Sounds exactly like 2022. That's all. Anyway, I'm sending a copy to you now. I've got a pop-up an hour ago offering me 500 points just for recommending it to a friend. Great timing, huh? Well, as long as you're earning points, I guess. At least give it a try, okay? Maybe it can point you to some good jobs. One with less socks and or urine. I do not want any games. We're gonna go date zero. God help me. And I'll think about it. Okay, okay, but don't think too long, right? Just in the end, I installed the app. Couldn't bear to see Juniper fretting over me like that. Not that I find it annoying. I mean, it's more that she has enough trouble in her life without troubling herself over my life too. Both of us had it rough up until the point where she left, where we left home to try to start a new life. A better one. She deserves better than me and my problems. Bless her heart, she means well. She's been firmly in my corner for all her, my life. The two of us against any dark forces aligning against me. Which it sounds like there's a lot of them and I'm not sure I'd like that. But that's not to say she's good at being my advocate. Enthusiastic, yes, but skilled, no. I mean, the enthusiast, she gets points for enthusiasm, come on. Typically the fantastic opportunities and self-help resources she sends my way are pyramid schemes or something. She's gung-ho about lending me a helping hand, but yeah. The main reason I went ahead and installed the app was to make sure Jennifer wasn't about to get her kidneys sold on the black market or something. Um, please, no, don't. Don't be like that. Still no sense messing around with it now. Good night, sleep. Good night's rest would act as a neat little emotional reset button, right? Uh, fingers crossed. No dreams, no nightmares, just eight hours of sweet, sweet black. You know you're playing an, a game that is a fantasy world, obviously, where you get eight hours of un un uninterrupted sleep. Not something that happens here, let me tell you. By the time, by the time morning light creaked... Words! Oh my god, Parker, you know it's clearly a Thursday when words are not a thing for you anymore, my love. By the time morning light leaked in through the cracks in the blinds, I didn't care anymore about being unemployed again. And we're back to my messy apartment! So help me god. Juniper had already left to catch a bus to her office. She typically leaves before dawn, but she left a note for me pinned to the tiny fridge we shared. Remember, download up, find dream job, make money, sort out your life. I believe in you. Juniper is adorable and everybody could use a Juniper in their life. Do I trust in Juniper's weird little app or do I just go find some job that pays well enough to cover the bills? Let's give this weird app a shot. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Figuring at the very least her miracle app could possibly help me find a job, I loaded up, tap the icon, and... Hello, little person. What is going on? Huh? Okay, see, that's what I mean. Anyone else would freak out over a... Okay, between you and me, if there is a cute girl climbing out of my phone, I would not be arguing. Just saying. Also, it's one of those new kind of 3D screens, so, you know. Not actually magical realism here. Very normal in the distant future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downloading Iris, your personal life coach. <coughs> Gatsy. Gatsy, do we need a thirsty meter for you, hun? 
I thought I was the only one who got called out on that shit. <laughs> but also, look at her. Real cute. Real, real cute. Super here. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. This is the ad-supported free version. Sponsored by Pizza Yums. No, we do not need to talk about pizza already. I am always craving it and breadsticks. The vest is really cute. The little, like, by the neck piece, real, real cute. Real adorbs. Really here for it. Also, now I want pizza. Have pizza on a bagel? I swear you to God. Pizza anytime? Okay, nope. You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm done. I can't do this. Why? 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 I'm done. I'm done. You're buying pizza on Saturday? Good. Order that pizza. Oh my god, guys. Ugh. Oh my god. Every stream, every stream turns into I'm going to get pizza and breadsticks. I don't know why it does, but it does. Wow. I'm chaotic pizza. pizza facts? Please, okay. Here. We're gonna subscribe to Pizza Facts, y'all. I I don't know what else we have to. Subscribing to Pizza Facts. I just want random Pizza Facts. That's all I'm hoping this actually gives me. This is so ridiculous. Somebody help. Oh. I'm here to make all your dreams come true. Oh goodness. Okay. Like, pretty tall order for an app to do, or are you some sort of wish granting genie? Can you also place my order at Starbucks for me and also get me my pizza? Hmm. Well, I suppose in the modern parlance, a massively interconnected database searching virtual assistant could be considered kind of a genie in a bottle. But honestly, all I can do is give you the chance to improve your life. What you do with it is up to you. I can cross reference search data for you, but without motivation, you won't get anywhere. Pizza fact lady, Sheking, Sheekington? Yes. Loves tuna on her tuna based pizza. Oh, lordy. Oh, goodness. If I get that kind of pizza facts out of this, I'm going to be impressed, I think. I think. I glanced up from my phone at the heaps of laundry and half finished books and other items strewn about my apartment. Motivation is something I have a ton of. Honest. Hooray! Iris is adorable. Can I date the AI? Let's find out. We're going after the penguin and the not real lady. I think that just actually proves that I have problems. Um, that's super. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Yes, lots. Why should I use this app at all? I mean, my phone already has a voice activated assistant AI. I can just say, hey, phones, search the web for job listings, and it'd work just as well, or would it? Uh, but I have an advanced emotional language interpreter. I'm smarter than the average program with more heart. I hope your cat's not a dating sim, in which case I also have questions for your, you and your cat. I can help you sort out your life by analyzing your personality and finding you a perfect path in life. All thanks to my glorious, wondrous, patent-pending, super-duper identity identifier system. I just imagine that was actually in, like, a way deeper voice because gravitas and to be fearful. Between you and me that really wanted an acronym that matched my name, but I couldn't figure out what to do with the letter R. How would you like to know more? Um, yes, I need the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Ever. But mostly in this game. Oh, geez. Bye! Thank you for being here. I hope your internet gets better. Every time you think about saying something, I can tag it with an identity. That way you can be the sort of person you want to be. This system allows me to better understand who you are and what you need from life. I do this by analyzing your tone, inflection, and word choice. Oh, God. I don't need anybody to recognize this in me. Mostly because I will fool your systems. Just you wait. Sounds like your programmers also wanted a bunch of things ending in Y. That's correct. My branding game is on point. That was a weird sound effect with Quirky. Quirky uses jokes, snark, and sarcasm to make light of a situation. Just the thing for picking up someone's spirits. A badly timed joke may not win over the room. 
These are scary, guys. I don't know about you. I'm a little bit afraid of the sound effects. Steady responses are sincere, honest, and logical. When you stop and think before speaking, you're on steady ground. But that might not take someone's feelings into account. That's the first cute one out of these. Kindly responses that are kindly responses are compassionate and empathetic and gentle in nature. They're careful with the feelings of others, but they're sometimes a bit wishy-washy as a result. Gutsy responses go with your gut. When you're brash, bold, risk-taking, and, and instinctive, you're gutsy. Uh, but it also means you're blunt, confrontational, and aggressive, so be careful. Lastly, you can always take a basically option. It's a balanced, neutral response, safely moving the conversation along while learning more and digging deeper. Over time, you'll build a personality profile for you based on the identi identity identifiers. <laughs> Who needs words? Words are overrated, right, guys? Please, please tell me. Please reassure me that words are very overrated. Maybe you'll predominate. Okay, maybe you'll be predominantly quirky, genuinely steady. A mix of both. Who knows? It's up to you. Words are words. Words are the worst words. Words are the, 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 the. Yeah, you understand. See? See? The worst. Absolute worst. I. Who needs words? They're overrated. <sighs> eh. so what you're saying is i should always try to crack jokes or be super gutsy i would never speak basically i mean being basic's bad right it sounds bad mm, nope. Heck no, they're all useful in the right context. There are no bad choices. Consider what you could say and go with what feels right in the moment. Don't limit yourself. Sure, you could gamify your personality, but it's more fun to let it happen naturally. You know, just be you. Now, let's see my patent pending identity identifier system in action. How do you feel about dad jokes? God help me. Hi jokes, I'm dad. Guys, it's just Dream Daddy all over again. Don't worry about it. Never said I was good at dad jokes, just that I could go for them. High jokes I'm dad is the best option, all right? I know, I'm a little worried about the AI. Is the AI going to take over? Maybe, possibly, very likely. If not, then I can hide the indicators. Keep it a surprise. That way it doesn't influence your decision making. It's up to you. Um, hide the indicators, what will be, will be. So mysterious. Okay, I'll hide them from you. You'll always be able to spot basically responses, though. Anyways, as we go along, I'll analyze and tell your identity identifiers. I'm gonna hate saying identity identifiers. Good work. You asked me a single question. Off to a great start. Did I, didn't you say not to gamify my personality? Hey, I said you shouldn't. I'm an app. I think in numbers, so I gotta gamify it a little. Anyway, studies say, show that achievements, or chivos, as the kids say, no. No, the children do not say that. Don't even start with us. Here. Oh, well, what's with that empty space on the left? Oh, I also track vocal responses from people you meet. Once you get to know some folks, I'll let you know how well you're getting along with them over there. Relationship scores. Wonderful. So, will you also tell me what the correct responses are to avoid making enemies, or do I need to go find a walkthrough for the vast game that you're making me, for the vast game you're making of my daily life? Uh... Parker, Parker! I say Achievos and I'm old to say- What?! I've never heard Achievos in my life! You're also not old as heck. I think you're only a few years older than me, I think. I don't remember. This has been a long time. Generally, people don't get, won't get super annoyed at you unless you deliberately and repeatedly provoke them. It'll be obvious when you're doing that. I promise that if you bungle a few social encounters, it won't really hurt anything. No cheating needed. Just relax and have fun. You can access your scorecard anytime. Okay, cool. That's a good... That's everything. But just how any of this is supposed to help me. Mm -hmm. Don't even know. I only download this app because, you're my, because my roommate claims that you're a great life coach for the unemployed. Why? It'll help me understand your spirit, of course. You can talk to ghosts. Is there a ghost in the room right now? Am I a ghost? No, silly. I mean your spirit. 
your hopes and dreams, your life's passions. I can even help you find a romance. Oh, good. Oh, this is gonna go over great. Romance? Seriously? Workplace dating, lots of recipe for disaster, and hitting on coworkers right from day one can be kind of awkward. Or am I looking for love right to start, oh god, ready to start right out of the gate? Never a second chance to make a first impression. If I meet the first right person, why put it off? Oh god. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, romance with fl 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 the, 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 the. Sure, I'm open to the possibility if I meet anyone nice. Um, let's stay focused, play it cool on day one at least. I like flirty first impressions, but I like that there's a just friendships option. I think I'm mature enough to juggle both at once, so why not? Super, and remember, the choice is yours. If you're not comfortable with other people, stay professional. So I realized recently that I'm actually really bad at choosing those answers in, data in games. Um, I've been playing Mass Effect 2. And I realized my instinct is to go with the flirty option. I'm like, no, I am just trying to woo one person right now. I should not keep opening up more doors. Anyways, I'm going to get myself in trouble is the short version of this entire story. Now, let's get started. To finish analyzing your personal history, please authorize me your data. So you, you have access to my stuff. Ah, I knew it. This is some kind of scam. I'm going to wake up in a bathtub of ice missing a kidney. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Relax, I won't share your information with any third parties. This is strictly so I can find your dream job. Am I authorized? Yeah, go ahead. This recorded music. It's cute. I don't know what you want for my life. So I just stand here Thank or... You. Thank you. My interview's in 30 minutes. Oh, God, help me. Put on some nice clothes. Nice and nicer than those, please. I don't think that's too much to ask. What? For your interview, silly. How did you lay my dream job in 20 seconds? Okay, do they actually have this kind of app? This doesn't seem like the worst thing ever. I don't know, y'all. Oh, help me. Ah. Uh. Well, this is happening. Could delete the app and go find a real job, but that'd be the safest option. I could. Let's get dressed for this job interview. It's a good option. A normal person, someone with high standards, would meet would just would have deleted the app right away. Rather than hop on a bus to meet someone up with someone that they are barely likely men with sharp knives and taste taste for kidneys. Yikes. For me, I was already getting dressed before she'd finished that sentence. Who knows? Apparently, what is my dream? Yeah, like, that's the big one. Ah, so it's going to start tallying all of my responses so we get a personality out of this. It's actually kind of interesting. As much as I genuinely enjoyed being a lifeguard, I can't say I found a true direction in life yet. I assumed I never would, honestly. Oh, goodness. What if it's not too late? One last time, I'll have some optimism and some faith. As I came to realize weeks later, turns out it was right to have faith in my spirit. Are we doing like a time jump or something here? Okay, no, so we're actually going to go through this job interview. Are we going to get to any dating today? That is the true question that I personally have. Strip malls are relics of 19xx where pla places where a random assortment of weird little businesses jam as many of them... They're still existing in the 20th century, like in the 2022 of our, in this year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. I'm kidding. I don't know why I keep calling it that. I just think it's silly. We still have strip malls right now. And since I'm seeing a dentist, a used bookstore called The Whole Story, an arcade, I feel like that's what we're going to end up at. In a boarded up health spa, one's called Lattes and Enemas. No, I'm sorry. What? Hey. Of course she said, hey, listen. Of course she did. I think that's two things no human should ever combine. No, I mean about your future place of work. 
desperately hoping we're not talking about the same thing. Which one of those businesses exactly am I working at? I don't know anything about oral hygiene or old books, and I'd rather not be a fry cook. The one in the middle, silly. What's behind the arcade? It is the arcade. Trust me on this. I referenced and cross-referenced and cross-cross-referenced your personality details and personal history and social media connections. This is your dream job. 99.97%. I don't know if I trust you. I should probably explain my confusion. Arcades are a big business in the entertainment sector. Pro gamers are celebs. Five-star arcades are social hotspots. It's always been popular, popular with the mainstream. But, well, restaurants are popular too, right? And for everyone who opens one hoping to be the next Iron Chef, a dozen more shut down in failure. Arcade competition is fierce. Paydays range from peanuts to gold. And sure, those who make it can secure fame and fortune. But those who don't, well... No wonder Iris sees this as a dream job. Video okay, I'm playing a video game right now. This feels a little meta. Back in the year 1980X... You could say what year it is. I don't know what you are avoiding here. For instance, one of the factors that could have been a terrible game based on children's movie about a cute alien visitor who wanted to phone home. If this game is complete poop butts like poop from a butt and massively overproduced, it ruined video games for years. Interesting. Fortunately, cooler heads prevailed. That game was delayed so until it could be developed properly and now the crash was averted. Weird. I feel like E.T. wouldn't have totally ruined everything, but maybe I'm wrong. Make no mistake, as popular as they are, the arcade industry is a dodgy, risky prospect for a job. Well, we'll see how this goes. Iris, this isn't me saying no. It's an interesting project, however. Are you sure about this? You say you're 99% sure, but... 99.97%. Oh, my life. My neck is hurting. In perfect honest, I haven't set foot inside an arcade in, uh, since the before times. I don't know. 15 years? Jesus. My sources say yes. Trust me, when I said I was 99.97% sure, I meant it. That's not some arbitrary number. I'm designed to be a bit silly and whimsical, but my math is deadly serious. Yes. Apparently, penguins are just, like throughout this entire thing. Although my favorite is also the boring clothing store, which is delightfully dull. And when this place inevitably collapses and I lose my dream job, what makes you think that's gonna happen? Because it does, it always does. We're really not that optimistic and I feel like we could benefit from being slightly more so. I don't think your database accounts for my family curse. We've always had to, I don't know, compromise, settle. Really? It's a family curse? That's a little... That's worrisome, but what? No better time than now to break that, right? Right. Sure. Does that mean you shouldn't even try? You still have to try. I do wonder what would happen if you take all, like, the negative... Like, not the indirect routes and if you end up still here but i'm kind of like yeah let's keep going Ooh, air conditioned you know it's gonna be good one not to pack with gamers although it's so packed with games i probably have a hard time finding anyone anyways it's kind of cute i actually recognize most of these games neat a lot of vintage stuff like, look at the DDR mats. My sources say yes. Is that seriously a Mr. Moopy's magic maze? Oh my god. Ski ball! Sorry, ski ball was like my jam. Back when I used to go to places and I used to do things, ski ball was the, like, pinnacle. Two genres I'm at, I was utterly lousy at, but the last time I checked. And over here is an old lady. Hi. Okay, who was talking Pac-Man earlier? Cause uh, yo, look at her earrings. Sorry, ma'am, I was just talking to myself and had an overwhelming urge to complete my sentences. Well, she's doing just fine. There. 
always nice to meet someone new in the funplex. Okay. The what? Francine's Arcade Funplex. Didn't you see the sign out front, dear? You know what? As long as we're not in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria or Pizzaplex, whatever the heck it is, we're doing just fine. Well, I chose to knock off the first two words when they got knocked off the building during the storm of 1980. Now it's just the funplex, I suppose. So, how can I help you, dear? Oh, good. Magical space barrier or something that lives in my phone told me to come here to find my dream job. Ooh. I want to have a magical space fairy. My, oh, my. oh, this is going to go great. If this is where my dream job is, I feel like it's going to be bringing this place up to scratch. Please call me Francine. As in... Francine's arcade funplex. Francine yeah. is interesting. Actually, thinking about it, I suppose we were originally Frederick. Don't call it Freddy! It's named after my dear departed husband. I've watched a lot of videos of Security Breach. I don't know why, because it's. I think it's because I'm never going to play it. Sadly, he died peacefully. In However, I'm still. Video. I'm still clearly like, no, 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 don't want that to happen to me. what he loved having intensely physical relations with me am i understanding this right did you kill him with sex i think that's what she's implying does anybody else read that in any other way yeah no okay cool that's information i most certainly definitely needed to know okay very well. Shall we retire to the office to conduct your interview? I'd carry it on out here, but it is rather noisy, isn't it? How do you deal with the constant noise anyways? Oh, eventually you just sort of learn to filter out all the beeps and boops. I don't know. She looks like the kind of woman who can just smash. Did she smash her husband into oblivion? Maybe. Done. Well, that's faster than the other's not bad. See what you made up this way, please. Found another penguin, guys. Next week on Thirsty Thursday, we're gonna do the drink. It's the penguin drinking game. Every time you see a penguin in a new scene, you drink. Anyways. Twitch would shut me down so fast. Um, Penguin there, baby. Oh my god. Thanks, Gatsy. Ah. Uh. Francine leads me down a back hallway past public restrooms and into a door marked employees only. Welcome to our little backstage oasis. I suggest that we do this in Gavin's office, but it's a bit too untidy. Don't blame the boy. He's been so overworked lately. Please have a seat. We'll begin. Cool. What are your greatest strengths? What do you see as weaknesses? Once I've even had to describe how to assemble a Lego set to prove my communication skill. Wow. Considering I end up washing dishes, I'm not sure why, but the point is I'm confident, prepared, and ready. We didn't even know we were applying here. If you were a dinosaur, what dinosaur would you be? I love the question so far here, y'all. What? If you were a dinosaur, what dinosaur would you be? I love her. Pterodactyl. We're going with this guy. Pterodactyl swooping around, catching up traps, staying away from all the meat eaters. Even if technically speaking, pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs. What's your favorite snack? When you have pizza on a bagel. Iris, you can calm down. Hush you. Come now, dear, I don't have all day. Uh, tacos are also my favorite snack. Tasty apple with almond butter. Whatever munchies lurk in the depths of the vending machine, those scare me. A tasty apple. 
I actually do always tend to go for fruits. That's not actually super off. That's good. You know how to plan accordingly for any situation. You know what they say. You are what you eat. Next question. I've raised myself. What assets can you bring to the team? I like these questions. Zombie apocalypse. So I help out a lot with work interviews for new positions, and I feel like I should be including these in all interviews going forward. <sighs> Engineering, I can make stuff. I'm essentially MacGyver. Hey, Shell Shell. But the stars don't shine, they burn. And constellations shift. Think it's time you learn. You're more than just your gift. I love that song. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? How are we doing? The zombie one is pretty key. Can make anything out of a string, string and match and a screwdriver. Good. I'm okay. I'm tired, but you know, it's Thursday at least and I'm slowly losing my voice, I think, but. So why did I just sing out that part? Could not tell you. Or make an attempt to sing it out. I know that I held on too tight. I'm trying to remember it now. I haven't listened to that one in a bit, but. An inventive brain is always a critical role in any survival. One more thing. Told you, magical space fairy on my phone sent me here to find a job. Making a job, true. But that doesn't really answer my Fair question, point. does it? I'm seeking true love as well. No doubt. You think my interview questions are a bit silly, but I like to think of the Funplex as more than a collection of tasks and people to perform those tasks. I appreciate that. Most folks my age opening arcades at that time saw it as just another way to make a quick buck. But, well, I saw it as something else. Something more than a way to make a large pile of quarters. Okie dokie. And I expect you'll find the others working here see it as something more, too. Everyone has a dream they're chasing, dearie. And for my friends, it lies within the funplex. Won't lie, really grateful for the amount of voice acting so far in this game, because it's definitely giving me... It's helping me out. It's helping a girl out. If all you want is a paycheck, I can provide that. But the last fellow in your position... That's all he wanted. Oh. And he didn't last long. So I should be wanting more. So I ask you again. Why are you here? It's a great question. I need to actually think this through. Okay. Um... It's a fun plex, a plex of fun. And I like fun, or I'm, I'm looking for hope. I haven't had much lately. If I don't dare to take risks, I'll be stuck. I'm actually really between these two. Also, I think it's very clear which answer fills, fits into which one of those, like, personality identifier thingies. Iris's job, really. I feel like my life's been stuck in a rut for over a decade now, but I didn't mind. Not really. I can go with the flow, but another decade of that, too? No, I need to take a risk and try something totally new. Everybody's been pushing me to find a job that's more than a job, just like you're saying. Is this my dream job? I don't know. But I have to try. I have to take the gamble, or I'll never get anywhere. Not to say I'm overly impulsive. I worked as a lifeguard recently. You have to be sharp and ready to act with a cool head. You can do that for your fun plex, too. Oh my, rather serious occupation, that. And an unusual step from such troubled waters to a land of make-believe. You enjoyed this role as a lifeguard, I take it? Yes, ma'am. My roommate says she often noticed me smiling after coming home from work. I can't say I can offer a role with such high stakes, but you'd be surprised at the many ways one can save a life even here. I'm intrigued. The weirdest job interview you've ever had, to be sure. 
But we have a job! Now to find love! Yeah, we should probably have signed a contract or something. Maybe? Yes? Oh, how marvelous. Sitting here, you mean? Sitting here and helping players redeem tickets for valuable prizes. Mm-hmm. Well, for prizes at any rate. Such a relief. I'd really been stretching myself thin lately trying to fill in since the position was vacated. Uh, why did the last guy quit? Probably should have asked that before I accepted this job. Something about being so bored out of his mind that he felt like jamming one of those 500 ticket plush dolls down someone's throat. Poor oh dear, he just wasn't cut out for this line of work. Grandson or no, I... It was your grandson that quit. Oh, good. Anyway, Gavin should be by soon. He'll handle paperwork and all that administrative nonsense. Now, if you don't mind, all this talking's tired me out some. I'll be in the back office if you need me, probably taking a nap. We got a job, guys! We're not unemployed no more! This is not how Thirsty Thursday normally goes, but we're going to go with it. Oh, yeah, no, she, I, yeah, I, I'm along the same lines. I'd be helping kids obtain toys that become nostalgic memories for years to come. What are these toys, though, in here? They look like those stress balls. That's all they look like. Any minute now. Odd clothes, weird questions, and she's stuck in this realm yet, yeah, clearly. Starting to see why people may have gotten bored in this one. I crave the sweet embrace of death. I've been sitting here for two hours now and nobody's walked up to attain a novelty, novelty funplex shot glass or a colored pencil set or a light up yo-yo. Lunchtime's approaching, and so far the only people walking in and out of the arcade are a few stray adults who have no interest in cheap friendship bracelets. Hello, sir. I don't think that's a customer. I think that's probably Gavin. Is he here to play? He doesn't seem like the typical businessman on a break or unwashed and unemployed game aficionado. In fact, seems like a cool dude. Most guys are never content to toss on a t-shirt and jeans. Not this guy, not even an arcade. Hi, sir. Are you Gavin? I feel like you work here. Cool dude. Hold on a minute. Who are you exactly? What are you doing behind that desk? Where's Francine? Hi. I'm Parker. New hire. Sup? How you doing? Hello, sir. Good to hear. I was wondering how long she'd have to work that desk. She's got gusto for an octogenarian and loves working the floor, but sitting here all day handing out toys and dealing with problems wears her down. So she explained the job to you, gave the papers to you to sign. She said Gavin would handle that stuff. I take it that you're Gavin. Me. I'm Gavin Cooper. Hello, Gavin. I'm the business manager here at the Funplex. I make sure we manage to keep having a business rather than a pile of rapidly collapsing fists and mistakes. Gavin, you're starting to talk like this is an experience that you uh, go through regularly, and I am now concerned about my employment here. All right. So as you no doubt guessed, you'll be exchanging tickets for prizes, but that's the least part of your job. You're the floor attendant. You attend to the floor. What, the carpets? Seriously? The floor, the arcade, the games, the patrons. You're the one running around putting out fires and sorting out problems. Technically, you're a second floor attendant. Ashley will be in later, but we need to. One to roam, one to operate the desk. I do it myself, but I'm typically in the back office making sure the whole thing doesn't fall to bankruptcy. That's why Francine loves filling in. She's a people person. She loves helping out in a pinch. I am not a people person, as you've likely gathered. No, you are not, sir. That's not to say you're alone out here. I'm in your corner, at least. If things go south, you can tap me for advice on what to do. You got a phone? Gavin passes me quickly the business card. Apparently, he has a stack of them at the ready. Not surprised. You ever work a high-pressure customer service job before? You have no idea. Right. 
You know how to keep ahead when the customer doesn't, I hope. But anything goes sideways, you text me. I'm not around. You text Ashley or Naomi in that order. You'll meet them soon uh, enough. enough. Oh, yeah, baby. I sold watches. Technically, I sold coffee first and then watches and then continued selling coffee for a very long time. Understood? I hate stress and crap solutions. Ouch, that sounds painful, actually. Don't worry, I can manage the floor while you manage the business just fine. Don't that remains to be seen. The last guy sitting on that stool was a slacker and an idiot, and even though he was family, Francine dropped him like a bad habit. Fair point. If you stay clear and honest with me, do your work, do it well, we'll get along swimming. I feel like that goes in any job. I have enough problems keeping this magical arc of hopes and wishes afloat. Please. Don't add to my problems. Gavin sounds like he's having a rough go of things lately. I think he needs a vacation. Ugh. I take it Francine told you her theory. That this is more than just a job. More than just an arcade. No. I mean, yes, but also I'm no. I'm dressing up words. I like to speak plain. If I'm curt... Then that's because optimization hey, BK. is a I am playing it. You are correct. Everybody working here wants to work here. This is where they belong. For one reason or another. Interesting. Me, I love chaos. I love wrangling chaos specifically. Okay. The arcade industry is high risk, high reward. I manage that risk so that they can also find happiness in their lives. Interesting. Everybody in this business has a dream that chokes them. It's a fragile thing, prone to getting crushed by hard reality. This sounds like it could be potentially very depressing. My job is to see to it that never happens. That includes Francine, who deserves better in her twilight years than desperately propping up a semi-failing business. So I'm getting the vibe, and maybe I'm crazy, that things are not going so well, and I might still be out of a job in a couple of months. Gavin. So... You find some value in this place beyond your salary, or you'll burn out. Trust me. Last guy to sit there burned out hard. Oh, Jesus. Now, can I trust you to mesh with our merry misfits? I'm a solid worker. Yay! He likes me. Thank you. I suppose that's a good starting point. We can build from there. Um. Anyway, I need to go prepare your paperwork. Technically, you shouldn't be working until we've crossed the I's and dotted the T's. But since I'm already sitting here, I'd rather you'd rather stick. I stick around. That would be accurate. If you're willing to fudge things a bit and work today anyway, it would help us out a lot. Now, if you don't mind, Naomi could use a hand in the workshop. Good opportunity to introduce yourself as well. Yeah, that sounds like Naomi. Her workshop is through there, ne one next to the UFO catcher, the crane game. To use layman's terms. Bye! Gavin's not bad, but he makes me very concerned about work. So let's go talk to Naomi. I don't know how this will go, but we're gonna find out. Girl, but my age, but certainly not my height, is tinkering on what looks like an old tube-style monitor. She doesn't notice me when I come in, too busy soldering a capacitor into place. The lingering smell of melting metal fills the air of fully ventilated workshop. Um... Hello? Ah. Oh. oh no, she's cute! Hey, uh, you know this room is for employees only. I'm technically an employee now, so don't worry. Are, are you lost? Do, do you need something? Hello, I'm new here. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't realize Francine already found someone. Surprise! I guess I forgot to check my text. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> I literally got hired two hours ago. You probably missed nothing. Or maybe you missed a lot of some things. I don't know, Han. Han. Oh, 
Oh, good. This game is already me. I see. Oh my god, she is so cute. I just want to hug her, but that would be super inappropriate. But I am a weak-willed human being, one who grew up feeling mighty funny whenever I saw Velma from Scooby-Doo! Nerds need love, too. Oh my god. She's just so happy and at peace. I can appreciate the joy in one nerdy, one's nerdy passions. I'm Naomi Fairchild, the fun fudge Miss Becky. Hi! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I was expecting Gavin, though. He usually checks up on me about now. Yeah, I got sent to do so instead. He's doing bu he's busy doing strange thing oh, with numbers. Yeah, that sounds like Gavin. I take it he sent you along to help? Great. Uh give me a hand with this monitor. It's really heavy and I'm so what paranoid happened? about dropping it after what happened last time. Sweetie, sweetie darling Naomi babe. What happened last time? Oh, well, I I mean that makes sense. Dropping it completely that tracks. Shelmy left the large cathode ray tube, slotting the heavy metal framework into place with the exposed guts of the near by arcade cabinet. Once done, she starts hooking wires back up to the other wires. Um, there's a surprising number of green circuit boards that in that largely hollow wooden shell. This is the first time I've seen inside one of these things. It's weird. Lots of empty space. Couple large slabs of circuits and that beefy monitor. And we have lost Naomi to the tech business again it could be packed in tighter like a bar top or a cocktail cap i'd say uprights favor uprights favor form over functionality let me explain i mean compare american and japanese cabinets ours are designed for standing players so they have to be upright even if that means an empty base japanese candy cabs are shorter so you play sitting down but i prefer american style ours have more room for art kind of adore her guys i'm also aware it's been so an hour beautiful. so Ooh, I love the classic Midway style. Look at those sharp angles, the side art decals, the bold font on the marquee, the bezel artwork. She's far too cute. The what on the what and the what artwork? Oh, please. Anyways, strip across the top of the game title, that's the marquee. The artwork that wraps around the monitor, that's the bezel. And, I mean, you see it too, right? How beautiful and cohesive it all is, working in harmony to give this game its own unique feel, its own experience. Okay. All right. Instead of eggplants, people, we are aiming for hearts. You're being a very appropriate amount of thirsty. So we're going for hearts this time, guys. We don't need the eggplants anymore. We're going for hearts. That's the name of the game, I guess. Actually, the name of the game is Arcade Spirits, but that's beside the point. It's made become one whole thing. The art, the style, and of course the game itself, all part of the same experience. Yeah, I can see it. It's beautiful in its own way. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. Naomi lights up with joy like a pinball machine, all twinkling and shiny. She's cute. She's adorable. Finally, so few people really understand that. I, the problem is, I am a sucker for the nerds regardless. So if there is a cute nerdy type, I will be in. I am there. I am... I'm here for this. Especially that jerk Gavin remembering the nerds. What's wrong with Gavin? We don't talk about Gavin, no, no. We don't talk about Gavin. Anyways, get me wrong and get along with him generally, but his whole attitude is just, ugh. ugh. All he cares about is money. He keeps the arcade running, yeah, but I just know if he had his way, he'd gut the whole place. Do I have to find love and keep the, the funplex alive? Like, this is not good. Gavin gave me that whole speech about protecting their dreams. It was my wedding day. I know. I love that. I still, oh God, I'm not over in Compto still. Not sure I should prod at it. I kind of want to. Oh, yay! Hello, 
too, Flower. You will have a 10 minute waiting period before you can join the chat, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, especially because that means I hit the, my follower goal, which is really just to get to three digits, okay? <laughs> so thank you. You are lucky number 100. Um, I get this is touchy, but if I'm gonna work here, I think we should all be honest with each other. No gossiping, so I gotta know. He says he does, but he's willing to sacrifice way too much to keep the whole thing afloat. Road to hell, best intentions, etc. <sighs> She's angry, guys. I screwed up. I just don't trust him. I don't trust him to do the right thing. But that's my problem, not yours. Sorry to drop gossip in your head like this. Thanks for hearing me out anyway. Yes, another part of... Okay, I think that worked out. That, I think, worked out still for the best. You seem like a strong, strapping kind of person. Well, strong person at least. You're a person, that's enough. I'm semi-insulted then? Little to the left. Slide to the left. Mm. Slide to the right. Bam. Anyways, nope, we're good. We're not cha-cha sliding here. There, carefully tip into place. Victory! Goodness, Chris! <laughs> Bow, bow. Anyways, we're good. We're fine. I know. Back to the focus on hearts. Yeah. Okay, glad to be done with that one. I swear I've been working on that monitor for ages. Those tubes are finicky as heck, and I'm still not totally satisfied with the flyback, but thanks for helping me out. I think you're gonna do just great here. And I'm hungry because I probably actually haven't eaten all day. When you have pizza on a bagel. Guys, we signed up for not pizza facts. We just signed up to hear about pizza bagels. Shh. Any good restaurants within walking distance? I don't think the bookstore next door sells donuts and stuff, but... Oh, not really, unfortunately. I mean, there's a cheap at Wubsub. Wubsub. Wubububsub. Anyways, I'm good. But you don't want to go there. You, wanna, you need to eat healthy. Hey, I know. Wait right here. What? Second pizza is definitely an option, okay? <laughs> Lunch time, here you go. It's a bento box. I learned how to make them from my mom, who learned from her mom back when they lived in Japan. Healthy things. You're giving me your lunch? Sure, why not? Sweetie. When are you going to have... Oh, I can just go to get some nachos from the vending machine or hit the whole story next door. I've got a book delivery to pick up anyways. You said eating healthy was yeah. important? Bye! It sounds, yeah, I literally was about to say this. I'm like, it sounds like she was looking for an excuse to just go eat a donut and rationalize having a donut, which is 100% a me move. I would do that, would do, 100%. Am I silly to hold out hope for? I don't know, more. We're gonna eat the bento box. Although second pizza sounds delicious. Pizza always sounds delicious. The room where I had my bizarre job interview will suffice for food times. It's not much, but a few folding chairs and a kitchenette, it'll do. Yum, yum, yum. What? What is this? What on earth is this? I'm going incoherent screaming. With my mind and body screaming wildly, my paralyzed form is unable to move. Yeah, thank you. No idea. I'm not going to lie. Where the eyes are placed is real creepy. Hello, anyone in there? Oh. Yo. She's pretty. Looks like you've stabilized. I was worried I scared the life right out of you. So, I'm sorry if I traumatized you. Really. Can we start over, maybe? Yes, please. You want to get out of that suit first, though? Just a little bit of suggestion. I'm Ashley. That'll do it. I'm also Pinky the Funplex Flamingo. It's my secret, yet not-so-secret identity. I think we need a new mascot. Just saying. 
Gavin was a bit of, uh, of a lot. Naomi was off the scale cheerful, and this is yes. I would have designed the game just so you would have to woo the cost to <laughs> choose the costume. Oh my god. Did you sneak into the employee section just to get my autograph? No, I work here now. Has Gavin not told you? Oh, I thought you would recognize Pinky from all the signs around the arcade. A Pinky is the mascot of the Funplex, after all. I I work here now. You work here? Since when? Literally today. I also feel, okay, it feels a little wrong that it's a pink flamingo that's the mascot and not this adorable penguin. Oh, awesome. Welcome to the Funplex. Hmm. I mean, it would have been way cooler if you were just so enamored with the chibi flamingo creature plastered over it every well that you had to know more. No, it wouldn't have been. You could have stealthily maneuvered your way through all the games, sliding right up to the employees only door. But how did you get the door mm -hmm. code? Of course! You would have collected the password on a piece of paper that fell from Gavin's pocket. You searched your heart and decided the four digit number had to be the intel Let's you needed. See. She's a whole other level of intense, y'all. Just keeps going and going. Is that how I come across people as a creepy trespasser? Yes! I'm wooing everybody! How would you have snuck out, I wonder? Hmm, I could have helped, but for a price. Oops! Sometimes I get swept up in a good story. I mean, I gotta find some way to make this job more interesting. Is it really that dull here? No, not really. I just crave a different kind of excitement than beeps and boops, screaming children, and broken machines. Oh, geez. I don't mean to be a downer. I just want to move up in the world. I've got things to accomplish, dreams to fulfill, cos- She's a cosplayer. Everything makes sense now. Yeah, you know, like dressing up as your favorite video game or TV character. I love it. It's so empowering to be able to make your own costume and wear it proudly. It's even better when people recognize what, what character you are. Granted, she certainly had the power to stop my heart for a few beats. Definitely. You want to try? Got a favorite game character? I can help you make your first cosplay if you want. Pinky is your creation intentionally? Yeah, looks pretty good for my first mascot cosplay, doesn't it? I'm all thumbs when it comes to stuff like that. Literally, if I get enough thread running between them. I'm pretty impressed, though. Naomi was going on with the craftsmanship of games. Clearly, you're digging on the craftsmanship of costumes. Yes. We're doing good. We're doing real, real good. We're making great first impressions. The ladies love me. We're going to run the funplex to liven up the crowds, get people pumped up to play some games, and the kids seem to adore it. Hey, secret between you and me? Secret, secret, hush, hush, hush. Did some repairs on Pinky overnight. I had to restitch the left arm, and I was giving her an old test drive to make sure she doesn't fall off. Oh, it was. Yesterday I was dancing with a little girl, must have been like five, six max, and we were at showtime stage when she tugged my arm, and whoosh, arm came off. Girl st instantly started bawling. I don't want that to happen again. I felt so bad. But enough about me. So are you Carl's replacement? The new floor attendant. I tend to the floor. The floor is the thing I'm attending to and I'm not going into cardiac arrest. At least you're funnier than Carl. I feel like that wasn't difficult. Carl sounded very, very bored. So you've already met Francine, but have you had a chance to meet Gavin and Naomi yet? Yep. I wish they would hurry and... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, wait. What? Are they always bicker like an old married couple? It's a classic anime cliche. Oh, okay. We are real into this, aren't we? Consider them marked. Did Iris just say beep beep instead of actually having a beep beep noise? Time to go back to the grindstone. What? No. How long was my break? Five minutes? You can do my job and wander the floor for a bit. Fair enough. Thanks. 
As I'm wolfing down the rice in the shape of a little heart. Wow, it occurs to me I didn't actually ponder my first impressions of Ashley yet. Oh, God. Okay, we're going with amazing. We're going with, we're going with casual right now. Why? I'm very focused on finding, apparently, a partner in this game. Apparently. I mean, I am, typically, in these games. With Ashley covering the dust, my job is to wander the floor and looking for problems or potential problems or just make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Think I'm off to a decent start with my coworkers. Good first impressions at any rate. So far, they like me. Hello! Oh my god, for real? <sighs> oh! I love it so far. So far, the writing lines up with my own way of speaking. So, welcome. Thank you. Um, I had this recommended to me, and so I was really excited to dive into it. But, uh... Ah, yay! Well, thank you and welcome. It's very exciting to have one of the writers here. Anyways, don't mind me gush just a little bit. So far, this is a very cute game. And if, if you hear me being sounding sarcastic, it's just because I'm weird. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. It's really cute, though. Oh, God, what am I doing? Uh, irate customer near Mr. Moopy's magic maze, someone cursing up a storm. Also, whoever had, whoever had the idea of putting all the secret penguins in different places so far, I love them. The penguins are adorable. <laughs> okay, let's go. Someone cursing up a storm at Fist of Discomfort. That one. Remember Iris telling me all about it earlier today while I was bored to death at the ticket desk. Most popular games in the esports circuit. It's been a staple of the scene for over six years. Do, 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 do. Very cool. That's a lot of moolah. And how? So how does it work? It's a hybrid of real-time strategy and button mash brawling. But your way to the top, down the top and bottom lanes, clearing waves ninjas to topple the enemy dojo. <laughs> I'm so glad. I The background artist was smart. We saw it also in the, like... When we're looking at the strip mall, we're like, oh my god, that logo has a penguin. We've been amused so far. That's the action part. The strategy part involves using special abilities, purchase items, and ninja summons. I want ninjas. FOD is sheer elegance in its simplicity. The way different game systems interweave to form one masterpiece of esports perfection. So, summon good ninjas, punch bad ninjas, smash dojo. Love it. All of which is super interesting and stuff, but right now all I care about is dealing with Loudmouth currently playing the game. The closer I get, the louder the yelling gets. Most of the words that... What the f***? I do like the censoring because it always makes me laugh. Nope, those are definitely all words my mother would disapprove of. You've got to be... <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it is, but I appreciate the the bleeps. Ah, this is a game. Ah. <laughs> I just want to put like weird sound effects. Is that bizarre? I don't know. <laughs> Get wrecked. Rando Calrissian. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That is that is that is cute. Rando Calrissian instead of land. Anyways, I'm good. I got the reference. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, this is far from over, Scrub. I saved up a little something extra for you. I've been baiting you into attacking my sensei, which you fell for hard. Oh, hey. Did I forget to mention I brought an entire ultimate technique scroll for my dojo? Whoops. Mabby. Wait, what? You haven't been farming. How could... Very technical. Very technical. Oh, my God, lady. What? How did you defeat me? Oh boy, that got real intense real fast. Oh, GG. Is it weird that I love her? Is it weird that I love her? No, Parker, you've fallen for every woman who has shown up in this game so far, so no, it is not weird whatsoever. No one can defeat me, Queen B. Oh, I get it. I The, the outfit makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I understand why I love her. We're, we're good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Not 
100% sure what just happened, but that didn't matter. I was completely sucked in. Couldn't take my eyes away. Like watching a train wreck. I mean, if the guy was the, the train was the arcade game and the wreck was that guy's face. What are like, you staring at? This is a really cute outfit. So far between Juniper and her, I'm just like, your outfits are on point. Never seen a champion of my caliber before. She even has, like, a little hexagon necklace. Like, I don't know if it comes through clearly um, on stream, but, like, she is on point with the B references. Oh, I don't know how to talk to you. You are far too pretty, and therefore I'm starting to panic. That jacket she's wearing identifies her as a member of L7 Gaming, an arcade sports team. Oh, interesting. So I probably should play nice, shouldn't I? Um, talk about a dumb... Mm. <laughs> mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Ah, step on me, mommy? Oh, God. We're just gonna go this way. We're trying to be somewhat casual to start this game out. <laughs> mommy? Esports? Mommy? Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, <laughs> oh, my life. People love winning, and it seems like she wins a lot. At least between bursts of, what did I just call? Saltiness? Hey, don't just stand there all weird and quiet-like. I know, I'm, I creepy. am being a creep. No, I don't mean to be. So, are you going to f***ing quarter up or not? Think you can best Casual the Star of L7? No, I cannot. I'm aware of this. I know my limits. I'm going to play within it. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm also working. You? You work here? Hi. Yes, me. Um... I enforce arcane law within this noble thumbplex. You bet. In fact, I was just hired earlier. I'm the new floor attendant. If the game meets your quarter, come to me. <laughs> oh, wait. You're serious. Okay, then welcome aboard this runaway train. Hey, I haven't given you a name tag yet. How am I supposed to know who you are? Why do you want to know who I am? I think it was actually a weird tactic to have me introduce myself to her. I'm Barker. I did technically just start working here six hours ago. It might take them time to issue me a name tag. They might need to send a carrier pigeon to an ancient monastery where name tags are forged in the vast clay oven. Nah, Gavin's just slacking big time. I'll talk to that silly boy for you. Make sure you get some proper respect. Hi. Feel like she's a good person. We gamers gotta stick I'm together. Okay, by baby. Agro style FOD lane pusher specialist for L7 Gaming. I'm into it. I'm into her. I'm here for it. We're good. Figured that when you put your arms over your head, cheered and shouted, no one can defeat me, Queen hey, Bee. I do not sound like that. Just a little bit. Well, maybe a little. I kind of love her. I kind of also love whoever's voicing her. It's kind of perfect. Hey. Anyway, I'm one of the regulars around here besides Pear, Pear, and Tio. So you'll be seeing lots of me in the future. Let's hope you last longer than the last guy. I hope there is, I, I want there to be a betting pool and I'm going to get in on that betting pool and I will win the betting pool. I love me, I love me a good betting pool. You look like a smart kid. You've seen one of my money streams on the internet, right? How, hypothetically, hypothetically, how mad are, yeah, the voice acting actually all together has been amazing across this so far. Hypothetically, ma'am. Hypothetically, mommy. How angry would you be at me if I hadn't? Just, just like very hypothetical situation. Definitely, definitely not real. Definitely not. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Have you been living under a rock for the past decade? Yes. If you consider a small yet formidable apartment a rock, then yes. Oh, you sweet child. You were so innocent and pure. 
Come, let me show you the path to darkness that is the internet. The internet is for porn. The internet is for... I should see myself out at this point. Hearts! Yeah, baby! Well, it is part of my game to know, part of my job to know all about the games here. And if Queen Bee is going to give me some insight on the culture around that, this game, I should take advantage of that. I'm aware that I was jokingly calling her mommy, but at the same point, we are just diving into this. Oh boy. Lead me further into the dark abyss, my mistress. Apparently, we're going right into this. I have zero complaints, however. Yeah. Guys, we're doing real good. We're doing real, real good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And upon further inspection, I see the whole haphazard pile of tech she's worked up. You can't just plug one of these cabs into the internet, so I use a number of clip-on webcams and mics and stuff. That webcam there broadcasts my own personal PC back home, which then stream matches live all to all of my fans. The chat room appears on my phone. That's actually kind of brilliant. Cost of it to put everything all together, and it takes like half an hour to rig up and test each morning, but doing this here for a couple of years, it's easy peasy. Aside from Naomi grinding her teeth at my clip-on cameras damaging the paint job, I mean. Anyway, I prefer to stream from the funplex than from home. There's so much more to there's so much to miss out on by sitting by your lonesome. Shush! Are we insulting what I'm doing right now? Which is quite literally <laughs> In my defense, it's a pandemic. It's a panini. I also don't know where the... Actually, I'm really sad. One of the board game cafes near me is closing. Just due to the pandemic. Very, very sad. Very upsetting. Wait, wait. are you broadcasting right now? Do they hear me call you no, mommy? No way. Oh, thank God. Got a pretty big tournament coming up, so I try to get as much practice in as possible. Even if it was... Even if it is with a bunch of fodder. As in F O D Dr. You know, chum. Lunch meat. Scrubs losers. I get the idea, yes, you don't need to keep going on. Queen B sees something out of the corner of her eye and glances around the arcade floor. She gives a nod to someone hanging near the Street Fighter cabinet. Oh god. Uh, my crew is starting to trickle in. I really like her crop top, sorry. <laughs> I'll get over this soon, but it's real cute. We should be starting team practice soon. Wait, what time is it? At the tone, the time will be 2.25 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> I just like that she says beep beep instead of an actual noise. What the? I gotta go live in five minutes. Listen, kid, it's been slow. We'll chat later, right? Can you try to not swear as much? I got kids around here and I don't want you to get in trouble with Gavin. Him... Ugh. But for you, I'll keep it to a PG-13 rating. <laughs> beep, beep. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's cute. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are some butts out there that I need to kick. I mean, what? It was Thirsty Thursday. If I didn't get like this, we would all be disappointed, right? I'm going to go with it. Or the way he's been a troll, she's completely abandoned me and returns back to her game. And, okay, my elders swearing, we'll take it. You know what? Progress. Progress. I should probably get out of here before I accidentally end up on the stream. I mean, fair. I mean, starting into any dating sim, it doesn't typically, like, just completely throw you into the, hi, go be thirsty over X, Y, and Z. Uh, so I'm glad we finally hit that point because this is why I do this. I don't know. I really enjoy dating sims. I don't know what it is. They're really fun for me. She seems to like me, which will make my job easier in the log run. There's a huge FOD community. FOD community. Would FOD? FOD. Despite being a tiny strip mall joint, so good to know. Actually, it's really good if they're here. That'll help business. Mr. Moopy! Mr. Moopsters! Let's do this. My mutant floor attendant sends us to detect danger. Danger! Quickly rush all of 30 feet. Angry rando. Come on! Finish up your game! 
No, to solve, Gavin, we need a name tag. At least to prove that I work here. <gasps> yeah, I was figuring that was what the case was when I was choosing, when I was playing with uh, Iris at the very start, because you could be button flirty or just kind of flirty and that, or the just like flat, the friendship route. I was saying earlier, I was like, oh, I really like that it has that because that's just useful. Like that's just nice for people. I'm always going to go with the stupid flirty route because I just have a lot of fun with it. But I love that there are options for not that because then they can still enjoy the game. Like, I just, I love that you guys created that, like, additional story path. I am a floor attendant. Stop tending to the carpets and attend to me. You are an angry random, sir. Uh, you can't. I can feel her win says the man curses up a blue streak. Oh, goodness. Sir? In the words of a famous Avenger, language. Le no. Figuring I ought to hear the fat piece of, I'm assuming shit, side of the story before rushing into an argument, I tapped the player on the shoulder. Hello, sir. He reminds me of Brian. If anybody remembers Brian from the Dream Daddy days, but I think I might like this one better. I hope I like this one better. It's not that I didn't like Brian. If Eric comes out of nowhere and starts harassing me about not going back for Brian, we're gonna have words. <laughs> so I tap again, twice. Hmm? So, sir, there are other players waiting to give Mr. Moopy's magic maze a spin. You know the game's full name? Sure, I played it a lot when I was a kid. It's actually called Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze, right? Wizard pal Wizards and pellets and monsters and stuff? This is like... This looks like Pac-Man on some kind of magical steroids. I'm kind of here for it. Yeah, BK, though, at the very start of this, uh, I I'm assuming it's tied to the decisions that you make with Iris. Um, with your AI friend. But yeah, it's... Because uh, it, it gave you kind of the, like prompt of if you wanted to just be friends and not do anything romantic, you had that. A bit terse as he's laser focused on the game. He's sitting at a whole buttload of points. I hope that's a high score. We don't actually know. Right, right, sir. Can you please wrap up your game? Hmm, no. I'm keeping good pace here. Plenty of lives stocked on par for getting close to the world record. Fair. Yeah, dating is part of this, but the story's about more about you're finding your dream in arcade culture with some romance if you want. I love that. That's so cute. I am going to find it all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the arcade culture stuff is actually really fascinating. Grace is myself, so I wanted a story that respected that and offered thirst if you wanted thirst. I love it. I love it. I love I love it. Like I, As I said, I love the thirst. I'm all here for, here for it. But I love games that give you that option so that way you can still play it and enjoy it and not feel... If, it, if it's not for you, then you can still enjoy what that game has to offer. So like game design game in a de game design capacity and game design wise, that is like chef's kiss. Love that planning, love that foresight in, in the entire development of it. So I am a fan, I enjoy. I like options, options are good. Because options help people feel more represented. And they feel like they can actually play out what is going to be best for them. So, I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, the public arcade. Other folks want to play games too. Okay. But he's lent his stock of 50 extra dudes slowly deplete as he pulls out his wallet. Without pause, he pulls out $3,000. I'm sorry. What, sir? What are you doing? Will this cover it? No. For a moment, I flash back to that movie where some dude pays another dude to sleep with his wife and they just roll around in bed covered with money and, um... <laughs> Cover what? Cover the cost of the game. I'm sorry, are you just buying the arcade game, sir? I, uh, one moment, please. Oh my goodness. With Gavin's contact info preloaded, thank God. Gavin, help! That's a much better message than I would have said, which would have just been Gavin Moopy help. 
Oh, considering paid two hundred dollars for it plus parts. Yes, absolutely. Yes, sell that relic immediately. I feel like Naomi's gonna be very grumpy with that though. How is Naomi gonna react to this? Offloading one of her darlings just because Gavin wants to make fifteen fold per profit. Also feels kind of weird to be taking advantage of this guy's lack of a grasp on real costs of an old arcade machines. I knew all this workplace drama was going to catch up to me at some point, but who knew it would be the very first day? Mm. This is tricky. No. I don't think so, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is already a bold choice. I am not very tall. I am not really going to be able to hold my own here. My semi-boss is cool with it, but there are a lot of factors in play. I don't think I should just let you walk with the thing. Feel a bit wishy-washy about the whole mess, not wanting to get on Naomi. I just started. Like, this is literally my first day. What? That's good. This is good. This is good. This is a good thing. I'm just assuming it's a good thing. I have made the assumption that if I get a plus one with the face, they're just going to be happy with me. Well, we can't have a mess, can we? Wouldn't be sporting. Let's compromise. I'll buy the game so I can play it whenever I want for as long as I want, provided nobody's already playing, of course. In return, you can keep Moopy, Mr. Moopy here where he belongs. We wouldn't want Naomi to cry, would we? Wouldn't be proper. Oh my god, you're a gentleman. You're making both of my co-workers happy with this. Gavin gets his money. Naomi still gets her machine. And other people get it when you're not here. How often are you here? But also, I'm glad you don't want Naomi to cry. I know! You're a gentleman? I don't think you understand the other games I've been playing. <laughs> This is, this is, I'm actually, no, that's a lie. Damien is still an absolute darling and a gentleman, and I will die on that sword. Anyways, that, that is the hill I will die on, is that Damien is still the best daddy. But that's a whole other, that's a different game. A different me. Back when I was a dad. That sounds so weird. Which leaves a random hopping mat. To be fair, we kind of ignored that he exists. To be fair, he's kind of a jerk. Kind of arcade is this anyways? I'm going to do his palace. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye, Rocco. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has been, like, on unhinged Elmo TikTok like I have. But that's where I my brain immediately goes is, okay, bye, Rocco. On the plus side, Naomi won't cry. On the negative side, I just ran him out into the cold. What On the other ups. I'm sorry, can we please listen to your voice a little bit more? With the crisis behind us, I can actually focus on who this gonzo rich guy is. <laughs> yes, um, I'm on a very weird side of TikTok, which has basically been repurposing Elmo audios. Uh, and Elmo's beef with Zoe's friend, Rocco, who is a rock. And so there's this one audio that Zoe's just like, I guess Rocco will never be able to float. And Elmo's just like, oh, well, okay, bye, Rocco. <laughs> and just is completely over the fact that Rocco is a rock and therefore has no cannot speak has no emotions can't do anything despite what Zoe says it is the weirdest I I am not a parent I have no children I don't I don't spend much time with that many kids I have a niece and nephew but like besides that yeah so Elmo and Elmo also was on the Jimmy Fallon show and did a lot of really crazy things including calling oh yeah no it's just a lot of a lot if you take a lot of elmo's audio out of context he sounds very unhinged and you start to worry about him um but he's also very sassy 
very sassy. Like, he did an interview at some point. I don't know. I want to say this is another late night show. And he's like, two minutes? Elmo gets two minutes? Do you know how much it costs Elmo to fly here? Do you know how much petrol costs? And I, like, I don't know what it is, but it makes me just laugh so hard. I love it. I am here for it. I love that. I've always loved Elmo. Um, but now... It's just all over my TikTok audios and I can't, I don't know what to do about it, but I do not complain whatsoever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oof, digging that dad bod. Um, he seems to care about more than just his game. Take it from someone walling around in the lower tax brackets, but the rich can do whatever they want whenever they want. And yet that's not what this guy did. Yeah, gentlemen. Also, really want to listen to him talk again. Kind of loving it, kind of digging it. Why? Because of Naomi. Because of the funplex. It's a home and a family for the games and for us. I think it was a good thing we got rid of the rando. He was angry anyways. I don't like him. So, you know Naomi? Of course. I'm a funplex regular. My name's Percy. You can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. I've never met a Percy I don't like. You can't do this. Anyways, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I am normally here for the women. However, you, sir, you might be my exception this game. I'd hazard you're our new floor attendant. I was here when Francine seated you behind the desk earlier. Sir. Sir. I... <sighs> I like you already. This is not good. Well, this then. Is... It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And Why are you so nice? For getting to know you better. Why are you so nice? Damn it. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Sir, you're being respectful. I'm not used to this. In my defense, I think I'm used to the bar being on the floor. But also, you are nice to me. I'm. No, that means there is a deep, dark secret that's going to make me sad. No, actually, if I didn't like you, then you'd have the deep, dark secret that would make me sad and feel for you. I, yeah, I'm what still. I, it's my calling. I no, sir. I love you. This Actually, isn't good. I'm in movie once. Had it in my flat, but playing it by myself, all alone in the dark, it's not the same. I need the atmosphere. I don't blame you. Why? Are... You're precious. Okay, precious Percy. The beeps and boops. No, those you eventually learn to filter out. I mean, everything. The games, the lights, the kids, the feeling of being in an arcade. I score my best when I'm in real world conditions. I love these people who are just so in love with being inside the arcade. Oh. It's so cute. It's so good. I know I'm normally like thir being all thirsty like, but I'm like, guys, this is cute. It's all about the emotions. The laughter and the tears. The excitement of competition. Oh my I goodness. Need that swirling chaos of human emotions around me to play at my finest okay i feel like i want to like cut that entire piece of like script and use it in my life because that is like that is accurate and that's been something that's like a self-reflection lately especially with the pandemic especially with every like the world being what it is and also being a freezing cold winter um but that swirling chaos of human emotions is something that I actually love and adore so much. And it's the reason why I like to go to conventions and go out and be around people and do those sorts of things. I do not ever want to go back to working in an office, let me tell you that much. But I want to go out and explore and experience things. And it's because then I feel like I'm living my life at my finest. Like, I am alive. So, that's cute. That speaks to me. Naomi gets that. She keeps Mufi in top condition for the day I eventually land my high score. What's the current world record then? About three and a half million. This guy, the guy has been standing here one, two months till it's not a frigid wasteland anymore. Uh, sir, I think you forget I live in Canada. Uh, which means it's a frigid wasteland until mm, probably the beginning of May. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Fair point. Hours and hours, still in about 720k in this game. I can't imagine him being anything in anything but top health condition to try this. Guy's gotta have legs made of carbon fiber and a bladder made of tungsten. Mm. Yeah, Canada, yeah! 
I'm in Ontario, though. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to sing that, but it happens. I just let a few extra lives drain out whenever I need to go pee. Also, he might be psychic. Feel like I should let him get back to his game, but burning questions, they burn like fire. So, go and get your moopy drifting, dipped in gold? Going with a goofy answer, guys. If it was me tossing around green like that, I'd have my game coated in solid gold encrusted with diamonds. I like it. I like it. I'm getting points. I'm doing good. They like me. They really like me. It's all I want. Amusing. The gold's a bit heavy, isn't it? It'd break through the floor. But you know it'd be shiny, right? Don't think so. Maximum overdrive right now. Yeah, it... Ontario... Okay, it's specifically Ottawa's doing some very... Mm, I'm angry. I'm angry at that. I am... <laughs> That's okay. Um, Ottawa is a, is, is a wreck right now. And I feel actually really, really bad for a lot of the locals there. I feel awful. And I am... I got onto a rant about this, I think, on Tuesday on stream. Because I was like, ah, don't let me do this. Because I will just, like, rage about it. And I still have today. Which is fine. And good. And I'm okay with it. But yes. Um, yeah. Can't, Ontario's doing a weird thing right now. With, with, oh, it's a weird time. It's a weird time. Weird, weird time. Anyways, certainly, but I don't throw around money to impress people. Wouldn't want to make my game that ostentatious. It's a bit much, yes? Money removes obstacles, nothing more, nothing less. It's like a tool like any other. I do day trading, stocks and bonds. It's really nothing interesting, afraid. Care more from Moopy. A little bit. It's getting more and more distracted by the game. I should leave him be. Bye, Percy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yet another weird encounter and a string of weird encounters. Ah, uh, they're not weird encounters. They are wonderfully delightful people. You spent all the talk about not splitting up the arcade. I've got work to do at the showtime stage. Which is totally like DDR and it makes me miss having a DDR pad. Or at least it looks like DDR. I don't know. We'll see in a moment. In the distance, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising since the first half of my shift was complete in utter solitude. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to see that people do come to the arcade, but that's quite the crowd that's assembling. Like, larger than Queen Bee's team was. This has to be against some fire code or safety protocol. Not only not fire code, but probably safety protocol. Speaking of citizens that enjoy living and having an escape route in case of emergency is necessary. Time to clear the way, pave my own path of all safety. Hey, it works. I just enjoy the music. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna vibe. It's fine. <clears throat> it's an auditory flashback right back to when I was probably born. Woo. Who is the current player? Are they cute? I hope so. Showtime stage is an ultramodern arcade smash hit. It uses motion tracking centers hidden behind the colored spotlights to check dance pose accuracy and score your sweet moves. Thanks, Iris. It's pure dance fever. Can you catch the fever, Parker? <laughs> With pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. <laughs> uh, game audio? I, uh, yes. Hopefully that's a bit better. I had my dance fever shots at the doctor's office earlier this season. As the, dan as the dance ends, one of the players hops down from the stage and immediately starts walking, talking to a young man leaning up against a back wall. I love this outfit. Sorry, I get really into the clothes if we haven't noticed. Did you see that, Tio? I got my first double A on Stop the Beats. You can't oh, yeah. oh, no. Is that, like, what was it? Pear Pear? Am I thinking right? They're very coordinated. Remember last month you couldn't even pass that song? Oh, they're so supportive. I 
going to keep practicing. One day, maybe even surpass you. Hey, I hope you do. And when you do, you can be the one who brings in new dances and dancers and teaches them how to play. Now you can see what I'm dancing to, or like hear what I'm dancing to. I don't know. I'm just vibing. We're good. I'm getting really into it when I feel a hand on my shoulder. Care to dance? I know you mean on the dance pad, but I personally interpreted that as us dancing together. Sure, I can learn as I go. Let's make messes. We're going to fail. I don't care, guys. In the previous observed conversation, this guy seems to know the ins and outs of this weird dancing game and is keen to teach. Before I commit to getting down with my bad self, I think you should know, I should know a little bit more about what exactly that entails. I'm used to playing these games so low, less chance of stomping on someone else's foot that way. Tis valid point. However, how could I resist uh, to ask a person such as yourself? You caught my eye the moment you walked over. Hello, sir. I'm sorry. Wait. Yes, very. Name's Mateo, but everyone here just calls me Teo. I love that. That's cute. Teo's the best! Greatest guy here! Boogie woogie rando. Wallflower rando. I like that it's also shortened to rando, because that's... I don't know my vibe. It's fine. Oh, please, I'm nothing, really. You're adorable. Nothing as special as you. Sir! Sir, it's my first day can't make me feel things on my first day i just like to show newbies the ropes and teach them how to play you're adorable Our community is small but we're all super close i love it i think you'd be a perfect addition to our gang so what do you say play our silly dancing game go for it i'm gonna get in trouble feels will continue until morale <laughs> will continue until morale improves yes <laughs> i don't care if i'm supposed to be working as a kid i remember stomping around on dance mats i totally had a dance mat at home though too like that's but i, f I feel this yes sorry i'm winning guys i don't actually know if i am i just think it's good i'm about to step on the stage an ominous shiver crawls down my spine I know I can't see your face behind the mask, but I can totally sense she's glaring daggers my way. It's creeping me out. No! But I wanted to dance. Nobody puts me in a corner. Really? But I haven't seen you around here at all. What happened to the other guy? He's actually pretty good at showtime stage, now that I think about it. He's out, I'm in. I'm the new cool kid. That was lame, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> It's currently the year zero of the floor, Attendant Parker Regime. Hello there. Well, it's an honor to meet you, Parker. I hope we get to know each other. Oh, darling, please don't do this to me. Somebody loves show Showtime stage as much as you do. I haven't actually seen you play yet. True, most of the time during these meetups, I tend to let everyone else play. I go around and make sure everyone is happy and having a blast, and yet you don't work here? But you and your feelings. My happiness comes from making other people happy. That's all I need in life. You're adorable. It is all well and good, but I still need to deal with the crowd. How to best handle it? Hey, I wanna... Good, we can start by getting to know workplace safety together. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you gotta break up the band. Unless you wanna film one of those retro 1960s public service announcement videos where someone loses the leg dancing off the stage and into the crowd... Oh, God, guys, or we get the one about, sorry, Ontario commercial, con commercials from Canada. Um, my brain goes to the war amps with the uh, very unfortunate, I can put my arm back on. You can't with those robot children. That uh, still haunts me until this day, obviously. Well, uh... We're doing great. Guess we're kind of overdoing it a little, shaking hands with danger. Hey, when the heat is on, the lights are shining, these things happen. I'll take care of it. Tio jumps on the stage and cups his hand over his mouth. Hey, listen! 
We need to keep this area to the left of the stage clear. Hey, now, you know the deal. We all have to be cool about fire safety. Yeah, don't get me in trouble. Let's not get me in trouble. It's all I want from you guys. <laughs> Fall the lava. <laughs> yeah, right? Great, now I'm gonna be known as the party pooper. Like that one time I had to close the pool because of that dirty bandage floating in the water. No one would talk to me for a week. Hey, hey, don't disappoint me, crew. Parker's just doing their job. Better? Much. Yeah, actually much Didn't better. To cause any trouble. Sometimes we just get oh, some caught up in the game, you know? Totally get that. Or, hey, oh. you should still join us later. Maybe when your shift's over. We'll all be here dancing until closing time. Closing time. I can't remember the next lyric, so I'm going to stop trying to sing that. <laughs> Carry on, Officer Parker has spoken. Oh, goodness. I turn back to you. Hey, thanks. No problem. Well, I feel nice and accomplished. I made so many new friends. And made Gavin more money. Gavin, you can now pay me with said money. The arcade is now at peace. My work here is done. Sup? How you doing? Good day. Not a bad first day so far. I've been keeping tabs on you. Well, others have been, and they've been texting me. You know, you should consider getting a proper group chat app going. I've got a crappy phone plan. My texts aren't free. A valid point. I'll look into that. Impressive. I'm impressed with how you handled yourself. You're going to work out just fine. Anyway, I prepared your paperwork. If you'd like to go inside and make this working relationship a bit more above board. Yeah. So you're staying? Please tell me you're staying. I fed you and everything. Francine hasn't fired them yet, right? The flamingo costume is going to get me every time. Ooh. Parker's off to a great start. Here's to your first day, followed by many more. Don't you two have jobs to attend to? Just ordered a replacement part supply for Robochon. Nothing left to do for the day. How many kids around for me to entertain? This is a pretty dang good job, y'all. It's been a strange kind of day. Hectic, stressful, surreal at times, but I've been riding that wave and riding it well. My coworkers seem just as strange, which is a plus. We're all in this together. I could find some kindred spirits with this crew. So, dream job? Could be. Very well could be. We've only got a few hours till closing, and it's nice and quiet. How about we game a bit? Speak for yourself. I still got paperwork to handle. Come on! Don't act like you don't game! Um... Relevant. I know your dirty little secret. What? Naomi, you sneak in early each morning to play pinball. <gasps> Gavin! I bring order to chaos. Pinball's the very expression of that art form. I love him. You know what we should do? Impromptu pinball tourney! All in all, not a bad way to end my first day. I do actually sign the paperwork, right? Are we getting above minimum wage? I really hope so. By the way, I've booked a birthday party for this afternoon. What time is it? Oh yeah, I got here early, didn't I? The looks of confusion and outright terror on their faces at all laughing, at all after dying off immediately are concer vaguely concerning to sorry, me. Sorry, sorry, I meant to tell you, dears, but I plum forgot. Francine! A birthday party. How old are the kids, may I ask? They hope to be young again. Five-year-olds. Oh no. Throwing ski balls overhand into the glass. Jumping up and down on pinball machines. Putting chewing gum into coin slots. Pulling out my costume, tearing off pieces of it. Naomi, Ashley, keep it together. We've survived birth kids' birthday parties before. Doom, doom, the end is nigh. I hate to get in the way of all the fun. Time for my afternoon nap anyway. Francine. Have fun, dears. Right. Battle stations, everyone. I'll take ticket desks so I can oversee operations. Ashley, greet the kids. Naomi, watch for hardware damage. Parker, roaming duty. Look for trouble. Do what you can. Prepare yourselves. They're coming. That is a mild nightmare, I'm not gonna lie. 
An explosion of small humans rushes the doors, bursting into the arcade before scattering every which way. Oh god, help us all. Gavin armed with pre-stacked $10 rolls of tokens. Yeah, this is pretty much hell. Beats waiting in line at the change machines. Oh good, quickly exchanges with the adults. Gavin's smart. Gavin came prepared. As for the pro gamers, while Queen Bee and Tio's friends bolt for the exit, abandoning them. Keen on getting out ahead of the surge of kitties, I guess. It's all very well and good. Oh no, who's gonna tell Percy? Roaming duty. Look for trouble. Roaming duty, Gavin said. Look for trouble, Gavin said. I mean, I was doing that before, but now the chaos is multiplied. For a few minutes, I'm like a pinball being bounced around, or like that frog trying to cross. We're Frogger! Eventually, I spot three possible problems on the rise, and Parker, professional floor attendant, is ready to attend to them. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. However, what we're gonna do is we are going to save. Put your quarter up. Um... Oh my god, okay, so I mean, I will get lost in this game, otherwise I think for several hours, uh, and I'm, I'm, unfortunately I'm getting hungry, so we are actually gonna call it there for today, this is hilarious and brilliant, and Two Flower, thank you so much for being here, it was wonderful to have one of the writers from the game actually as part of the stream today, so thank you, especially with your insights into it, that was fantastic and wonderful, and I very much appreciated having you here, so thank you and welcome, um, I'm gonna wrap it up for today, yeah, I'm having a blast with it. And so we will pick this back up next Thursday for thir when the next Thirsty Thursday. Um, unless I decide that I can't stop thinking about it, in which case I might still do it on Monday and Tuesday anyways. Will I say to hell with my entire schedule? Very possibly. But have we met me? No one should be that surprised. Um, it'll be Thirsty Thursday on a Monday. Thirsty Monday? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. This has been really... It's really cool. It's really fun. I really like the vibe of it. I... Really wasn't sure what I was getting into, but it's really neat. It's been really interesting. So, no, I'm really excited. If I can't stop thinking about it, it will be what we play on Monday. What can I tell y'all? It's, it's just as we do. It's just as we do. So we'll leave it there. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Um, thank you for helping me get to 100 followers. That's been wonderful and delightful, and I'm very excited to have hit that. A little benchmark, so I'm gonna set a new goal soon. Uh, have a wonderful night, have a wonderful weekend, and take care of yourselves. Rawr! Rawr means I love you and dinosaur. Alright, y'all. Bye!